here's a quick before and after well a before anyway this is the guitar i've chose to mod now i want to make it into a graham coxon guitar a tribute to graham coxon his um telecaster that he played with the humbucker in the uh, neck position now i was going to change this bridge and put in an ashtray bridge but the bridge is a string through plus a top loader so i'm going to leave it because it's lovely and i was going to change both pickups but if you see my review video the pickups are amazing too so the only things i'm going to change really is this pickup guard and the neck pickup so I'll have to do some routing probably under there because I shouldn't think that's routed out for a humbucker. So I'll show you as I go through. And then I've got another little surprise. But this is really all I'm going to use. Now I've bought torque shell pickguard just like Grand Coxon's and the humbucker. The humbucker isn't like a Gibson Seymour Duncan that he's got in his. Or well he had a Gibson in his one actually. And uh the tribute guitar the signature guitar had a seymour duncan in it but obviously i'm not going to spend that much on it but so far the guitar cost me a hundred pound delivered and that's a phasely the pick guard was 10 pound delivered and the pickup was about 20 odd pound so you're looking at 30 pound 130 pound and we'll see how far we can get and how close we can get So Graham Coxon's signature Telecaster that is moving now for a fortune on reverb. Okay, so let's get going. Well, here we are with the first part of the mod. I've took the strings off, which is obviously first in uh, any job. And the first job is going to be just take this pick guard off for now. So I'm going to get on with that. Obviously, I'm not going to film taking every single screw out because that just bore you to death. So I'll come back when these screws are all out. Here I am just doing the last one. Now I'm going to lift this pick guard off. We may have to undo the uh, pick up as well. Now let's see if it needs. Uh, drilling or rain, which I'm sure it will. Well, there's not a lot of room in there. Okay, so to give you an idea of what's under there, I will have to take this pickup right out. So I'll be back in this moment. That's both screws out of the uh, pickup, so this will lift straight off now. And as you can see, there's not enough room for the humbucker. Take these springs up away with this pickup and yeah, this pickup obviously has got to come completely out so it has to be unsoldered from there a lot of dust under here which is what I knew there would be so clean that up and then undo this and take this off from the, uh, the switch and obviously the volume wherever it's wired to but we'll find out when we take that off okay so I'll be back again when I've undone this. And here's the pickup. Now it's this black wire here. So what you gotta do is carefully look where that's soldered to. Now, circuit board there, which is surprising for a selector switch, but it's a cheap switch, I suppose. So the earth just goes onto there braiding and solders to this piece of the board here okay so the pickup will have similar wiring see that there now the braiding on this new pickup here will solder onto here and the white wire onto there take a note and another tip take a photo of the switch in case you forget so you know exactly where they go. Now I'm going to desolder this. I'll be back when I've done that. And then we can lift this pickup out. Then I can fit the new pick guard. 
as best we can because they're bound to be re-drilling but I'll fit it first and then I can mark out exactly what I need to cut out to fit the humbucker in. So I'll see you in a moment. Now, as it is always so often, this pit card doesn't fit, so it will need adjustments. It needs some taking off this edge here, because it needs to move over. You can see that's there. It needs to be moved over. Or well, really, some taking out here. So, it needs to go over just a touch. And this needs to come out quite a lot this body it needs to come right out so we'll move it over first and then we'll mark it once we can fit this properly but this will need a dremel on it ignore that beeping in the background that's just my washing machine so i'll need to dremel this out here and along this edge just so we can shunt it over even though I think that might actually do yeah that'll do actually so it's just this that needs to be uh, dribbled out and then these can fit in the old screws quite well actually not too bad at all I have to drill a couple of them but this will need to be cut out so I'm going to do that and then come back to you Another tip here, when you're doing the uh, scratch plate, um, put the, obviously, the new one face down, probably on a cloth, uh, and then you use the old one as a template, just to mark it out. And as you can see on this one, I've even started doing this one, I've marked it out with a black pen, a Sharpie, on the side that you're not going to see, and I've done the same there for the neck one. Get that, that's it. And then all you do, you can either use a sharp knife, like a Stanley knife, just to shave it. Or you can use a drill, if you've got one, if you're lucky enough to have one. And just shave it to the uh, black line, then you know enough's come off. Just take all that black away, and then you know you've done enough. Okay, so that's a little tip for you. So let's get to it, and I'll come back when I've had it done. If you want to, another tip is to keep trying this up against the guitar. If you're worried about taking too much off it's always best to take not enough try it and then come back and do it rather than take too much off as with everything you can't add you can take away i've just gone round the pick guard uh, the pickup hole yeah and then coloured that in but then once you take this off just notice the screws here where the pickup's got a screw to it which is there so I've marked them out and I'm just going to cut round them you don't need them there because it holds on to the pick guard so this is what's got to come out <clears throat> now what I've got to do this I haven't got a router so I've just got some wood bits and the idea is there you go to drill these in along and then chisel out what's left hopefully the battery drill it's going to be powerful enough so let's see think we could do with a bigger one to be honest I 
all the time we've got to keep making sure don't matter if we go a bit over because the pit guard will cover it so very hard this wood <laughs> I don't know whether the 20 would be too big no it's all right so I think we'll go with a bigger one Just need it as low as it's already done to the other side. Nearly there. That's it, and I think that's about to do it. So we we'll do another one here. So that's the plan, just to keep drilling until I'm all the way through and then we can just chisel it up. But I'll come back to you when I want to the chiseling, otherwise this is going to get real boring. Now, I think that may be enough. So now all I'm going to do is tidy it all up. There'll be some more out here. Like I say, I'm going to tidy it up now with the only sharp chisel I own. Right, I finally got through with the drill and the chisel. A lot harder than I thought. The wood's solid. But it doesn't help when you buy cheap chisels that are not sharp, so it's going to look a bit rough behind the old pit guard but like I say you're not going to see it so it doesn't really matter so what you do then next job thread the pickup as you can see it fits in there so thread it through so you can wire it and then attach this to the pit guard so get your pit guard I'll do this now, I've injured myself. There you go, there's that in. And then you connect that up with the springs and obviously the screws. Now I'll come back once that's done because it's impossible to do this with the camera going. Okay. Give it a final hoover out. There's no little bits to go anywhere. Fitted the uh, pickup to the pit guard. Now thread this through the hole. Which can be trickier than it looks. But a bit of patience and you'll get there. There it is, pull it out. And then neck might have to actually come off and then be refitted afterwards which is looking highly likely so that's what we do so obviously the neck needs to come off so this needs to come out and then I'll take the neck off right now I've took the neck off and I've noticed there's a shim here which obviously went like that because the actual marks on here 
see so a little bit of a shim there on the neck so we make sure that goes back on and we reconnect the neck okay so now let's move this back up so you can see it back in view we can hopefully fit the pit guard So thread to pick up wire through. There we have It's temporary for now just so we can see that it's all going to fit. And what we'll do is we'll fit a screw just to hold it in place. Be able to see a bit easier exactly what we need to come off, if any more, from the pit guard. Now, obviously, because both the pit guard and the whole guitar really is aftermarket, the holes are not going to line up perfectly. As we can already see. So that's fitted quite well. That's all on very well. So a few of these will need to be re drilled, and some of this has to come off around the pickguard area here. Not a lot, but some has. We can get it off with a nice sharp knife. But as you can see, that's the first stage done and it's fitted. So, what's next is, let's have a look, see if we can actually fit the neck, or if we do actually need to shim some more off. Yeah, it's quite clear. We've got to take some more off this big card here so that's the next job I'll come back when I've done that hopefully with all my fingers when all I've done is I've used this knife here and this just to trim off the edge there and obviously it's easy because you've got that edge of the wood to guide you so that should fit now I've put the chin back on here bit tight but yeah it's gone so it does it fits so let's turn it over and screw the neck back on when screwing the neck back on go corner to corner just so you can definitely tell then if it's actually in the right place but it will only screw down in one place if you find the resistance then you know it's not meeting the holes properly so just screw it to it holds in each corner do the same the other two corners
Last one. Everything's still difficult now because I've injured my finger. That's the neck back on. That's the neck on. The pickup is in. It's threaded through, ready to be soldered to the circuit switch. And this needs to be drilled now, these few holes, so we can screw this down permanently. I've screwed the scratch plate back down. What I've found with some of them is the screws were really loose. They wasn't really holding the original scratch plate. So a good tip for that would be, obviously the holes I re-drilled were fine, but the odd one that was uh, already drilled, the cocktail stick, put it in the hole like that, then lift it ever so slightly and then snap it off. And then you've got a little bit of shim in there, a little bit of wood in there. And when the screw goes in, it'll be a lot tighter. So just push it down like that. And then lift it ever so slightly, snap it off. You lift it ever so slightly so it falls in the hole. As if you snap it straight there, it'll be slightly proud. So to the bottom, lift it ever so slightly and snap it. Just break it off. And then it leaves enough wood in there a bit about this size if you can see that and then the screw fits nice and tight so that's just where they were machine drilled and they're slightly too big I suspect that all of them would have been like that but as I said the ones I drilled myself obviously I used the correct size drill bit so I didn't need to do it but the ones that were pre-drilled like these were very loose these are actually quite good but they are very loose around the scratch plate so just a little tip for you Right, next I'm just going to uh, take off the protective film, uh, solder this cable on, and then I'll restring it. And then hopefully the job's more or less done. Right, I thought I'll just try and show you this. I hope you can get it in. Um, this hole here is too big for this screw. This is the one of the ones that uh, was pre-drilled. So, like I said, you can see that cocktail stick inside, just raise it a little, snap it off. That sinks all the way in, then get the screw, screw it in as normal. And you can already feel how much tighter that is. That's it, and it does that nice and tight. Let's switch on. Took the film off the pit guard. Just a matter of um, stringing it up now. Good night, and when we used to kiss, was way out of sight. 